lovelies! I'm very far back today because I'm gonna do a thrifting haul! So the theme for Wonderly this month is actually nostalgia, and a lot of these items are vintage, so this isn't my official Wonderly video for the month, but I'm gonna be making a lot of videos about nostalgia. And so it's kind of perfect that this is gonna be my first one for the month of May. May is my favorite month! It's my birthday month at the end of the month! I said month like a lot of times. I have some things that I have gotten recently and things I got not so recently but they're all thrifted and a lot of them are very nice vintage items that I will be listing on Etsy. So, yeah. So the first thing is actually this dress. This dress I got for a dollar at a garage sale that some hipsters had in Tacoma last weekend. It's so freaking cute. It's like a Hawaiian dress and it's got buttons all the way down the side. It's got a stretchy, stretchy waistband. I'm squatting, this is awkward. The one problem is that it's kind of big in this area so I either have to get it taken in or just wear sweaters over it all the time or not give a crap. Um, I got this fur that I will be selling on Etsy because I don't really wear furs. I don't support the fur industry, but when it's vintage, it's already happened. It's very old. So, um, yeah, I, I like, I like vintage furs. This jacket, I posted a lot of these on Instagram the other day when I first brought them home, but this jacket is so weird and cool and fabulous. I don't even know what it's made out of, but there's like leather on the collar and on the pockets, but it's orange. I probably won't list it right away because it's like really fall, but it's fall in Australia, so I don't know. I get a lot of Australian buyers. This was probably the most expensive item that I got. This one was 20, but oh, it's worth it. It reminds me of my friend Chris. Orlowski. But look at this thing. Look at it. I almost want to keep it for myself, but it's so big on me. It's so gorgeous. Really thick wool knit. Oh, it's so Seattle, you guys. Look at this thing. It's, oh. Here's another sweater I got for a dollar. This one, it's really tiny. I don't know how I'm gonna get anybody to model this one. It's pretty cool. It's a nice one. And it was a dollar, so how can you go wrong, honestly? Little petite girl, it'll be super cute. These pants, okay? I did get another pair of pants, but my sister took them up to school because she really, really liked them. I would have liked to show you them because they were pretty epic. Like, I was like, Libby, you have to wear these to Sasquatch. All the hipsters will oogle at you. These pants, I wish I could keep. Oh my God, I wish I could keep them because they're so amazing, but they are just slightly too small on me. Ah. High-waisted plaid trousers. And I can't keep them because my waist is even higher than these go. So they kind of ride up in the crotch a little bit so they don't work very well. They definitely would fit a size medium, like a size eight. Size eight would definitely, probably like a 20, 28 inch waist. But yeah, and they go down like a little past, a little to the ankles. So I'm five, eight and a half. So if you're that tall, or if you're even taller, they would be like, ankle grazers and they would look fabulous. This top my mom got just a Pendleton shirt. It's a really nice wool shirt though. This would be like a great man's shirt. This actually reminds me of Chris too. It's pretty fabulous. We pick up basically everything that's Pendleton because Pendleton is worth a lot and we get a lot of it around here because it's out of Oregon. So this is a nice shirt that we got for a dollar. Um. This was like the best find we got for a dollar because it still has the original tags on it. It's listed as a size 910, which I can definitely fit into because it's got a great stretch on the waist. Looks like this in the collar. It has crazy shoulder pads in it that I have to remove. Buttons are pearl and they're beautiful and the bottom accordion pleating and it's black at the bottom and it was originally $110, so. Mmm. God. Dry cleaning only. Fuck that. Uh, this dress we also got at that sale. If I had listed this like a month ago, it would have been perfect for like prom season because it's a perfect prom dress. Like, look at it. It's got a pretty little bow right here in the middle, if you can see. But it's got all these really nice like plastic sequins on the top. It's got a really like modest long length and you can wear a bra with it. A couple of vests that I did not get at 
the sale, but these ones are a lot older. I think I didn't, I don't think I talked about this in my last thrifting haul, but I got this great crochet vest at the Goodwill in Bremerton. I've worn it so many times. I've worn it with a couple of outfits of the day and I'll probably be wearing it to Sasquatch just because it's so pretty and girly, like wear it with a crop top. Ah! And then this vest, which actually has a sticker on it. This one is so Seattle circa 1989, I can't handle it. A dark denim with, with a shearling lining on the collar. I have my sticker from Local Natives the other night because Local Natives is awesome. If you follow my other channel, I talked about them and had video from the show on my last Vita video yesterday, two days ago from when this is going up. This one's pretty epic and I actually included it in my last outfit of the day on my blog, which I'll put a link to below. This jacket, which I need to list on Etsy, is another Pendleton piece that my mom found at another estate sale a few weeks ago. But this fabulous little blazer jacket thing, it's got wooden buttons and it's like a blue plaid. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. It's definitely like a medium. Um, it could fit like a large if you don't have like big boobs. But um, the sleeves are a little bit short on me. So if you have like shorter arms, this might work or you can roll them up, whatever. It's adorable. It's adorable. Um, I got these ones at Urban Exchange last month with some store credit that I got. They're just black little booties, little little heeled booties here. And they're like a, a suede and they lace up. You can't really see it in this lighting. Maybe I'll lighten it in post-processing. And then these boots, which I'm going to be listing very soon on Etsy because I shot them already, I got from the estate sale. Oh my god. Look at them. Look, look at them. They're a size six and a half. So if you have little feet, how sexy are these? They're so sexy. Haha. -ha. A couple more things I got from that hipster garage sale on the lawn down in Tacoma. I got this great little leather bag. Um, it's authentic Italian leather. It has kind of like a, a canvas lining on the inside so it won't damage the leather if you have anything like spill a little bit in it. And it's got two little outside pockets where you can put your cell phone in or your keys. And it's got two straps on the back. Carry it like a little backpack. Backpack. I'm not sure why I'm talking like Olin Rogers. But his accent is inexplicable, honestly. It's so cute. Look at this. It's so, it's so precious. So cute. Ah, oh, I love it. I like weird bags. I don't do the Michael Kors, Rebecca Minkoff bags. You'll be following those trends. Bags from this was three dollars. Three dollars, okay. I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars on a purse. Oh, these shoes, okay. I'm gonna be posting these very soon too because how fabulous are these? These would have been great for prom season as well. For any of you who like freaking jewel toned metallic green shoes, look at them. I wish I had tiny feet, they're like a size five and a half. Ah! Little feet. I need to get a thumbnail for this thing. And last but not least, I found these at a pretty random garage sale that my mom and I went to at the end of our morning. We went to three different sales. We went to one where the hipsters had all their stuff out on the lawn, an estate sale with a bunch of old creepy dolls and old Christmas crap, and then this like totally random garage sale where my mom found a vintage scale for her trailer. And then I found these puppies. How mad men are these? They have extreme bifocals, so whoever was wearing them was pretty blind. Honestly, looking through the regular glass, it's not that different for me. But the bifocals, man, the bifocals. I have these listed on Etsy already, and somebody is actually wanting to buy them already. So if they don't buy them, you can buy them. Those are all the things that I found recently. Yay, thrifting. I feel bad for all the people who work at thrift shops though. Like all the teenagers are gonna be like, I'm gonna pop some tags. Like, shut up. I love Back the More, but I really want people to start singing Can't Hold Us, because that song's better. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to keep seeing these, because I enjoy them, and I go estate sailing a lot with my mom. It's just like history, nostalgia, nostalgia, the theme, see, theme. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be the I Heart Spring tag that Miss Glamorazzi made last month, but it really wasn't spring until this week in, in Washington. So it was irrelevant for me to make one until now because it was like 78 degrees today. What the hell? So I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.